Helmet's talking to me. Uh, still playing with the Everlast PowerTig 255 EXT, and I've been playing with the Advanced Pulse, which is for the AC welding. I thought, you guys ought to see this. So I've got some T6511 aluminum here. Uh, it's 3 16 thick. So in this whole little stack that I've got, we're pushing 5 eighths of an inch of aluminum, different pieces just kind of stacked up inside of the scrap barrel. Just to recap, with the pulse, or, or bring you up to speed rather, the advanced pulse, that's a positive AC spike for the cleaning, and that's a negative DC spike for penetration. Sounds, sounds weird, but it really works very well. Uh, I've got the machine maxed out on amperage. I'm on the foot pedal. Uh, water cool torch. I've got the eight, I got an eighth inch quad four tungsten. Four different elements now instead of just three, like with the old E3s from the, the good folks over at HTP Welding. And I thought, let's just fire it up. Let's just see how good we can get through all of this. So grab a helmet and I'll put mine on and we'll make some sparks. This is what happens when you let guys play with too much power. <laughs> so, started out kind of slow down in here, a little low on the pedal, turned it up a little bit right in here, started burning through, got up into this top piece, and you can see this over in here. It actually turned that whole piece liquid right there, and it was just about to break through over here and flow right off the table. And then I got to the end, and of course that heat had no place to go, so it melted off that end right in there, and just came down in here into a big puddle. Let me grab the pliers, and we'll pick that thing up, and see if I got through, and how far I went. Well, yeah, sure did. Tried. See, I got through the top, the two top pieces. Didn't quite get to the bottom. Practice. Practice, practice, practice. So the moral of the story here, that machine's got more power than I know what to do with, really. You know, uh, this was definitely my fault. The machine is plenty capable of reaching through uh, the first two. It was just starting to touch the bottom piece, and I kind of backed out up in here because I was seeing my puddle get away from me up in here. So, you know, this is definitely my fault. More practice. I'm going to go buy some aluminum. And we'll try this one again someday. And while I still got your attention, reach right over there and push that little subscribe button so you know when the next video comes out. And pop out to my website. Go see what's going on over there. Got lots of cool stuff there also. Don't forget the newsletter. I'm going to go buy some aluminum. I'll see you later.